Hello English 12, Ms. Long here. And with this video, I just want to walk you through the final session in Unit 1, where you are going to be perfecting and revising the essay or resume and cover letter that you completed in Session 2. So give me a couple minutes just to explain the, the basic structure and what you need to know on this session. So with each session, you'll see a session plan, reminders and important announcements and everything, uh, times when you can get help, which may be particularly useful for revising your application writing, and the list of assignments and how many points they're worth. Now, I have highlighted this in red here to, to let you know that this particular week, because I think you're revising and you're doing work that depends on completion of at least something, uh, I've made one of the assignments due Wednesday, and that's really to help pace yourself. If you have an issue with that, you're out of town, please let me know. But uh, generally, most of you should be able to finish by Wednesday with some revision. So here's a suggested schedule on how you do that. Uh, if you want to take a look at the welcome comments here and the essential questions to consider, that feel free to do that. And at the very bottom of this set, this welcome screen, you'll find the rubric that your final paper is being graded by. So it's a district rubric. I didn't make it up. Um, but it's to be used to evaluate all types of application writing. So you want to be familiar with that so that you can get a top-notch grade, right? And so you can have a top-notch product. So the first task in this session is to start using track changes. And there's different types of word processing you'll be using, but you'll track changes so that I can see them. And you'll track changes in three different things at least. One of them is vocabulary. And that's using a formal, fairly formal tone in English. You're going to try to avoid slang. In most cases, that's going to be uh, best for your professional appearance in this. So you'll turn on track changes and then begin reviewing your work, your resume, your cover letter, your college essay for vocabulary to make sure that it sounds appropriate and professional. Then you'll take a look at figurative language since that can often make the difference between a good piece of writing and an incredible piece of writing. So take a look at what Grammar Girl has to say about it, and then look through your own writing, and again with track changes on, make some changes and add some figurative language. The third thing that you're going to look at is transitions. Uh, again with track changes on, you're going to make sure that your ideas segue very smoothly from one to the next. Uh, also makes a difference in final writing if the reader can very easily follow your thoughts. So take a look at some of the resources here on explicit transition words, and you might want to be a little bit more subtle at times or more complex in the way you structure your sentences. There are some additional sources down here for writing transitions that you can use. So pay attention to that. And then you'll turn in a revised assignment with all of your changes still showing and track changes. And then you'll turn that in on Wednesday. Again, that kind of paces you through the week so that you can do some other things to revise and edit. And those other things include a discussion where you're going to share a clean copy, not the one that's all marked up, with some of your classmates and give feedback on their drafts. Now, I've asked you to give feedback on what works, what doesn't, where you're confused, how could it be improved. Um, please don't say, oh, nothing needs to be improved. You must say something that needs to be improved. And don't be like my 13-year-old and write something. Um, find something that really could be improved. I, th I think very few pieces of writing are perfect as is. So uh, even if you notice something that maybe isn't a, a judgment or whatever, or incorrect or correct, just notice some things too. So after you get the feedback from your peers and after you've done your revision with me and tracked changes in this assignment here, after you've done those two, it'll be time to get some editing done. And for the purpose of editing, you basically need to get every single error out of the paper because that's typical of the genre. You've got to have errors out to put not only your best foot forward, but your best skill forward. So one of the things I want you to look at is actually in an edgenuity lesson. And we looked at that prescriptive test in the very beginning. Haven't done a lot with it since. We're going to start using it more in the future. Uh, but I want you to take a look at a lesson on punctuating restrictive and non-restrictive elements, phrases and clauses. When do you use commas around them and when do you not? So to recap on edgenuity, you're going to click forward and you'll see the name of the lesson that you need to find. And then you'll stop after you've completed that lesson. You don't need to do the other lessons that are in there. So don't go, out, don't go off doing like 500 le lessons in Ingenuity, just this one lesson. And if you have any difficulty finding it, navigating to it, accessing it, whatever, 
please message me. I've been getting a lot of messages like that from my 10th graders, and I expect there to be a few issues here too. So just let me know. Um, you'll do that lesson, and then so that I can track it in Schoology, I would like for you to upload something as a response. Again, not something, but something as a response to let me know what you thought of the lesson, questions you still have, comments you still have, or even simply, I'm done, I'm a rock star, and I got it done. Um, so that, that tells me to go back and look at Ingenuity and make sure that I don't overlook your work there. Because with two different systems, I would really hate to give you a zero for something that you did. So this is kind of just cross-checking that. So that's one thing that you're going to be editing in your paper, those commas for the restrictive and non-restrictive elements. And then you'll do a final editing review. The final editing review can involve your best friend, your parents, anybody that you could draft to help you make sure that it is perfect. You can also go to Grammarly.com and paste your work into their grammar checker. If it finds mistakes, that's obviously something you need to fix. When you have it absolutely perfect, you're going to upload to Application Writing 1.34. The rubric for that assignment is right here. You're done. You're off to the races. And hopefully you have something that you can not only be really, really, really proud of, but something that you can actually use uh, sometime in the next few weeks or the next few months. So that wraps up this unit. I, again, think it's one of the most valuable ones that you're going to do. As we look ahead into Unit 2, we will be getting into different tools for critiquing literature, uh, looking at some short stories and some things in Edgenuity. So a little bit of a different shift, a little different focus, uh, but that's where we're headed. Give me a call or message or text with any questions, and you have a great week.